So from March 30th to April 2nd of this year, I was in Okinawa to train with various masters. Today's video is going to be on the daily cost of you staying in Okinawa to train karate. So let's get started with breakfast. I had two tacos for breakfast. It was very nice. This is a pretty famous dish in Okinawa. Next, we rented a car for around 34 US dollars to take us around the prefecture. There aren't any trains or buses that go through Okinawa. There are some, but it's not so convenient. So make sure you rent a car for around this much. So first thing in the morning, we went to Karate Museum. So this is the outside of the museum. Make sure you visit or check out my video on the Karate Museum as well. And this is the actual inside. Um, there are a lot of references, books, materials that you can watch and um, listen to in this whole museum like you see in this video. Also, there are a lot of um, activities that you can do within this museum such as this one. Uh, it's a traditional tool that they used back in the days. How you use it is like this. It really trains how you can get your knee up without relying so much on the leg muscle. For lunch, we went out to eat some Okinawa soba, which is a Okinawa noodles. I got a tebichi, which is pork um, leg meat. It's very fatty. Next, we went off to a beach for a nice walk. It wasn't such a great weather on that day, but still, you know, it's free. And there were some cats too. <laughs> and here, if you like to, you can perform some katas, which would be, you know, a great memory. People actually practice on the beaches so they can strengthen their lower body. And then onto the main purpose of this trip, which is karate lessons. It would cost between 0 to 60,000 yen, which is from 0 to 55 US dollars, depending on who you go to. If you know the person, they might you know, be willing to do it for free. If you don't know them and if you're looking online, the average cost per lesson was around 55 US dollars. Here I am doing um, Sanjin. At a Goju Ryu Dojo, this is Gekisai Daiichi. Make sure you check this video out from the top link above. After some hard training, we went off to a Japanese izakaya, which is a Japanese pub that you go during the nighttime. There we had some beer. For in Japan, we drink beer on the first one. These are some of the um, small plates that you can get. They were all delicious, like tempura, deep fried, um, seaweed, potato salad, um, tofu, sashimi. This is awamori, which is um, their liquor in Okinawa. You drink it with ice. Very nice. And then the accommodation was around 45 US dollars. This would be the very um, cheaper side, I believe. You can get something for uh, even lower or, you know, at, at high end price. So the overall cost was food, $40 around, accommodation, $45, transportation, $34, crowd activity, average, $30, if you go to the beach, $0. So in total, it was around $148.60. Do you think that's expensive or cheap? Let me know in the comment section below. Living in Japan, if you do something, you know, this much on a single day, it would cost around this much. But don't forget, this is a daily cost, so you gotta multiply that by the days that you like to stay in Okinawa, plus the plane ticket. Since I went from Tokyo, it was a lot cheaper than most of you, so please make sure you check that out. Yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, about my online karate lessons, please check them out from down here. The first week is for free, so why don't you give it a try? And don't forget to check out my Yusuke in Okinawa series from up here. I'll see you guys in the next video.